All right, welcome to exercise number two, verifying the thin lens formula. So you set up a light source at the end of the optical bench, set the lens on the halfway point and, and use the screen you used on the other side of the lens. Then measure the length of the object on the light source, uh, uh, then move stuff back and forth until you get an image. Now I've already done, I moved it until I get an image. So let me actually show you what I've done. So here is the light source. Uh, it it kind of looks bright, but there's actually a target that the, I, the iPad is kind of oversaturated. I'm going to show you what the target looks like. Here's my lens. Now for this one, we have to use the 75 mill millimeter or the 7.5 centimeters. So sub, uh, using it in centimeters is much easier. So just write it down in centimeters, 7.5 centimeters. And I'm going to plop that down for right now. And we're going to worry about the distances a little bit later. Uh, now, if I move this back and forth, you can see that there's a certain point at which an image is formed, and that's what we're going to look at. We're going to change the image distance, or we're going to actually change the object distance, and the image distance will change. So the thin lens law is 1 over f, the focal length, or f is the focal length, so 1 over f, f is 7.5 centimeters. So 1 over f is on the left-hand side, that should equal... 1 over O plus 1 over I. So the object distance is between the lens, the middle of the lens, uh, and where the object is, which is right here. So first of all, uh, before we actually start measuring the, the distance along this way, we're going to measure the actual object. And it kind of looks like a blob, but let me actually pull this off. This is actually a little screen. And... It looks like a little circle with there. It's got shadows in here, so it's kind of over. See, do you see the little circle? And it's got two lines that intersect the circle. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure the object. This is the object. This is I put it right where the light is, and this is going to be the length of our object. So. Uh, let me see, from one end to another, let me see, from one point of the arrow to the end of the arrow, gosh, this is a really crappy uh, centimeter stick, it's a little less than two centimeters, so um, I can see people have written on it. Let's actually try um, <laughs> to move, shift it down so it's not so bad looking. All right, so I'm going to put it's the, th the three centimeters, then you go four or five, so it's almost two centimeters. Uh, what does it look like? 2.9 centimeters? 2.9 centimeters, I'm sorry, 1.9 centimeters, I added a centimeter. It goes from 3 to 4.9, that's 1.9 centimeters, so that's the, the arrow. There's also the, the up and down one, which is probably the same, but what we're going to do is we're going to look for, on our image, we're going to measure the image distance, and we're going to compare it to the actual object distance, and... From there, we're going to be able to figure out the magnification. We are then going to compare that with the, uh, the distances I over O, which will give us the another magnification. So we're going to do that in a separate video. Right now, what we're going to do in the next video, now that I've measured the height of the object, we're going to actually measure the height of the image once I have it formed. So let's go on and set up our first uh, distance.